Hey you guys, it's Shaq, and I apologize. I'm gonna be eating throughout this video. I got Burger King. <laughs> I have been not home all day, and it's, it's 11 o'clock at night, Jesus Christ. Ooh, sesame seeds are getting everywhere. Oh, yes, Burger King. You guys, pretty much the reason that I'm making this video is because about three weeks ago, I posted a video about my sexy Halloween costume. This is included. The video ended up being shared on New Now Next, Queer Tea, um, a bunch of gay news places in the UK. Apparently, it must have been a slow news day if they were talking about me. It was really cool to see it shared, but what came along with it being shared on all these platforms was I got a shit ton of negative feedback. All the hate on this Halloween costume video came from gay men and it was weird come on gay men we're supposed to be we're supposed to be brothers brothers we're a big fucking family and you can't choose your family i'm that brother that you want to get rid of but you know what you're fucking stuck with me <laughs> anyway i picked out the best comment hey, hey, hey whoa no 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 Oh my god! I picked out some of the best comments because I think they're amusing. I'm gonna be reading them to you guys, I'm gonna be responding to them, and then at the end of the video I'm gonna give you just a small little piece of my mind, a small little piece. It's gonna be a little blurb, okay? Because I didn't say anything last week, I didn't say anything the week before, and I'm just gonna say one final note, and then it's done, and I'm gonna move on, and... Don't ever look back, don't ever look back. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I very quickly realized was that every part of my body was being attacked. Nothing was safe from my ass. He had no ass, but good attempt at trying to poke it out every now and then. Aw. Thanks, Jesus. To my eyebrows. His eyebrows are an abomination that makes the baby Jesus cry. To my fucked up nose. <laughs> and then soon after, I started getting so many comments about how skinny I am, my body type. James was quick to tell me that I needed some food. Vincent says... For only 50 cents a day, you can help feed this twink-ass mess. Call the Save the Ratchets Foundation now. Let me look at Vince's profile. Oh look, it's him shirtless in a club. But that's none of my business. And then you guys, the wonderful sweet hate comments just continued to pile in. This was literally me with hate comments. <laughs> Did you think the hate stopped with me? Oh no, no, no. My mom was getting hated on too. There's a fine line between support and just letting your child do whatever the fuck it is that they want. 50 points from Gryffindor. Cough, cough, Oedipus complex. Well, you guys, this classy comment could come from none other than the operator of the Facebook page, Dirty jock straps. Quickly I started to realize that a lot of the negative comments were coming from the fact that I was promoting a harmful stereotype of the gay community. I didn't know that a physical embodiment of every gay stereotype ever existed in a single person until today. That was very hard to watch. Paul. People also were very quick to assume that I don't use protection when I have sex or that I'm going to catch an STD. When he gets his STD, he can go show her, as in my mother, the damage and say, hey mom, does this look cute? Oh my god. Extravagant called me a conceited narcissistic chode. Dieter realized that due to this video, it is very clear why I am single as fuck. David found my narcissism to be a bit irritating. Leland said that I make him mad and then he continued by saying, not everyone is a beautiful famous model. Well, you know what? I fucking wish I was a beautiful famous model. Some people liked my mom but then hated me, like Justin who said his mom is adorable, but he's a conceited little shit. Jerry thought I was an attention whore, so did Dave Lee, so did Joe. Patrick didn't think I was an attention whore, he thought I was a trashy whore. You guys, sometimes I lay in bed at night and wonder why I'm single, but Anthony Garcia got to the bottom of it and says it's because I act like a dumb hoe. Adam decided to write me a poem and his poem reads as follows. He is gross. Which leads me to the point of this whole entire stupid video. So at the end of the day, all I'm gonna say is please, please, please do not become the type of gay man who comments crap like this on other people's videos, Facebook, news articles. You guys know that I love the LGBT community. I really do. That doesn't mean that I accept all the bullshit that goes along with it. Don't become the type of gay guy who's bitter. Don't become the type of gay guy who puts down other people. Acceptance is universal. Acceptance is acceptance. Don't fight for your acceptance, but not some somebody else's. Don't bitch at religious people for judging you for being gay when you judge other gay men for what they wear. Also, why aren't we fighting double standards here, you know? I know what the straight frat bros wore out for Halloween. 
and it was nothing. But when a straight guy takes his shirt off, all the gay guys are like, oh my God, a straight boy took his shirt off. But when a gay guy takes his shirt off, all the gays are like, wow, what an attention whore. Stop enabling these double standards. Stop promoting these double standards. And this old bullshit about the gay stereotype where guys are like, oh my God, I'm a straight acting masculine gay man who just wants to be accepted. But when you're half naked on the streets, it makes it so hard for me to be accepted. No, bitch, you know who's standing between you and acceptance? Yourself, because I said bullshit like that in high school. I said bullshit like that in college. AKA, I said bullshit like that when I was immature as fuck. And seriously, if me living my life makes it so difficult for you to live your life, you need to fucking get a life. And I'm probably not even gonna fucking wear these Halloween costumes out because it's gonna be zero degrees and I'm probably gonna be in Ithaca, okay? <laughs> Love one another, be nice to one another, help each other out, and let's, as a community, attack Kim motherfucking Davis and not small little Twinkie boys who want to dress like sluts for Halloween, okay? That being said, I'm peacing out, Girl Scout. Go like my nerd picture on Instagram, okay? I want to get that to a lot of likes so I can take over. No, but seriously, you guys, let me know your thoughts. I know I'm probably preaching to the choir here, and I'm not letting this get to me. Believe it or not, I'm not. I'm not losing sleep over it, I promise. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. All that I could think about was I was just daydreaming and fantasizing about getting my license and taking my car straight to Jacob's house and kissing him on the lips. Because I had never kissed a guy on the lips before, and I knew that it would rock